Hello there. What's up, folks? Mike for CMCC Builds here with another five minute build. <laughs> where we discuss build progression, key features, and highlight important character choices all in five minutes or less. Five minute maximum. For this episode, we're going to take on the Sorkadin, the Sorcerer Paladin Multiclass, one of the most powerful builds in the game. Here we will answer the how and how I would build the Sorcerer Paladin Multiclass, while the more detailed, longer build videos will answer the why of those specific choices. These shorter build videos will allow viewers to quickly see a build without having to carve out those 20 to 30 minutes to do so. Who's got time for that? This build is quite interesting because the splits vary significantly based on desired playstyle and subclasses used. A Paladin 2 Sorcerer 18 split functions for those that want to be a caster with 9th level spells, armor, weapons, and smites. The 614 split gets you the Paladin Aura, extra attack, and fine steed. The 713 split gets the second Paladin subclass feature, and the Paladin 11 Sorcerer 9 build gets improved Divine Smite and a decent amount of Sorcerer goodies. There are even Sorkadin builds that just dip into Sorcerer for 1-2 to two levels for the Shield spell and some additional features depending on Sorcerer subclass. The two extremes don't appeal to me for a variety of reasons, so finding the sweet spot in the middle is the end goal of this particular build. Like, subscribe, and comment below with your own variations of the build. You've probably noticed I'm very active in the comment section. I love talking to you guys, even if you have opposing opinions. So post those thoughts, comments, or suggestions. And of course, my Patreon, the thanks button, all that is great, but not as great as you. You're awesome. Okay, enough of that. Let's jump into it. At level 1, go with Variant Human for the free feat and ASI to multiple stats. Paladins are half-casters and want strength, charisma, and constitution to operate optimally. I recently played with a Dragonborn Paladin and the new Gem Dragonborns from Fizzbands are much improved from the Player's Handbook version of the race. They make for a very solid choice here. I think Triant Monk nearly went with Dragonborn as well for his Sorkadin or Soradin build, but until 1D&D releases, that first level feat is going to be difficult to beat. Take Perception as your skill. If you know someone else in your party will be focused on wisdom-based skills, take another skill of your choosing. For the first level feat, Polearm Master is a choice here. Doubling your attacks at level 1 increases power level substantially at these low levels. Once you hit 5th level, this feat decreases from 100% bonus to number of attacks down to 50%, but it still provides the potential for more reaction attacks, and the opportunity attack may pair well with another feat we get down the road. Warcaster. Ability scores, 15 Strength, 8 Dexterity, 14 Constitution, 8 Intelligence, 10 Wisdom, 15 Charisma. Use the Racial ASI to bump Strength and Charisma to 16. There's a strong argument to switch Dexterity and Wisdom. We know how powerful Winning Initiative is. It's not a nice have. It's a potentially encounter-shifting outcome. If you're not sure why, click the video above. I went with Wisdom because being mind-controlled and being removed from the fight entirely is worse than simply having less turns than enemies. The 5% higher chance of success isn't much, but it's something. Background is always pick whatever fills the gaps of your party and your backstory. For equipment, Get plate armor as soon as possible. At level 1, you'll have to settle for chainmail. A spear and a shield will boost that AC and allow you to use all the polearm master features. For starting class, paladin is the only option here with a dex this low. You need heavy armor proficiency and this is the way to get it. For skill proficiencies, I like athletics because when you need to grapple, you should be able to do just that. And persuasion because this is a charisma based character after all. I have people skills! I am good at dealing with people! At level 2, we're doing the Blasphemous and not beelining for Paladin 6. Here, we're going to dip into Sorcerer for one level. Not having shield or respectable ranged option doesn't sit well with me, so I like to pick up Firebolt, Booming Blade to help with our damage until extra attack, and of course Shield as a level 1 spell. For the subclass, there really are two main options. Clockwork Soul provides a lot. More spells, good subclass features, options to pull from other spell lists, but it doesn't provide Spirit Guardians, and if you saw the very first build of this channel, Geralt of Rivia, you know just how good Spirit Guardians can be on a Paladin. So Divine Soul is the pick here, and Law gives an additional spell known, Bless, which you can use for concentration to good effect. Favored by the Gods is also a fantastic ability that boosts saves and attacks when needed. From level 3 to 7, hop right back into Paladin and stay there until Paladin 6. We all know about Divine Smite. When should you use it? That's outside the scope of this video. Use it wisely. For fighting style, go with Dueling to bump the damage of the single-handed spear. At level 3, take the Oath of Vengeance to get a very solid subclass spell list. Bane, Hunter's Mark, and Hold Person are all situationally useful and pretty good. Misty Step is just a great spell and saves this spell choice from the Sorcerer picks, which are extremely limited. At Paladin 4, with the ASI feat, take Warcaster. This build won't have Resilient Con. It didn't go Sorcerer as the starting class, so maintaining concentration on key spells like Bless, Bane, and especially Spirit Guardians is 
paramount. And with a weapon and shield occupying both hands, casting becomes an issue without this feat. You really can't delay this feat any longer. At level 6, Paladin 5, extra attack comes, and then level 7, the key Paladin feature, Aura of Protection, provides a plus 3 to all saves at this moment. Now we bounce back into Sorcerer all the way to level 20. We're going with the 614 split for this build, which works perfectly for the two subclasses selected. The 7th level Vengeance feature is not worth the level, and the 14th level Divine Soul feature is fantastic. Comes at level 20, so that's very, very late, but it's a cool thematic capstone. At level 9, Sorcerers get Meta Magic, and here, Quicken Spell is a must. This option often gets confused for a solid Spellcaster option, but it works far better on a Gish build like this. Quicken a spell, then take two attacks, which generally works better than a single cantrip. Questions about bonus action spellcasting? Leave them down below. Then take Twin Spell for things like Hold Person and Subtle Spell for those spells you need to cast in social situations or the spells that are too important to be counterspelled. At level 10, Pump Charisma. Getting that aura up to a plus 4 matters. Increasing your spell DC is nice as well. At level 11, this build goes into boss mode as you can now get Spirit Guardians up and mow down enemies. At level 14, Sorcerer 8, you have options. If you were able to get a strength boosting magic item, which are generally easy to get, then skip strength and just boost charisma. I'll take the strength boost though. And then at Sorcerer 12, level 18, boost charisma to 20 to get the max plus 5 to your aura. At Sorcerer 14, spread those wings and fly. We're almost out of time and we haven't discussed many spells. Paladin level 1 spells. Bane is always prepared. Command, Hunter's Mark, always prepared. And when you need a damage boost, protection from evil and good, shield of faith when your concentration is free and need added defense for 10 minutes. Wrathful Smite, don't forget it's a wisdom check to end the spell's condition, which the target makes at disadvantage advantage because they're frightened. Level 2 spells, aid to pop up one or more allies, find steed because paladin, hold person, always prepared, magic weapon because finding magic spears is rare, misty step, thankfully always prepared, and protection from poison because why not. Sorcerer cantrips, booming blade, an excellent option to be quickened, firebolt for a ranged attack, guidance, light because you're human and need to see. I can't see. Mind Sliver because it combos nicely with Quicken Spell and Minor Illusion, the best cantrip in the game, along with Guidance. Sorcerer level 1 spells, Absorb Elements, Bless, Healing Word, Shield, and Silvery Barbs. Level 2 spells, Vortex Warp and Web. Warding Bond is also a strong pick if you can fit it. Level 3 spells, Spirit Guardians is important enough to break the alphabetic order of things. Counter Spell is a must, and Fly. Level 4 spells, Dimension Door and Fire Shield. Level 5 spells, Holy Weapon or Synaptic Static, both very good. Level 6 spells, Heal or mass suggestion, level 7 spells, divine word, or draconic transformation. That's it. That's the build. You're a ninth level caster, so upcast aid if you want to be nice, or spirit guardians if you want to wreck house. See you here next time, folks.